YouTube, SK Nation, Steph Kicks family. It's your boy, it's your guy, it's your homie Steph Kicks, and I'm back at it once again with another video. Yer, you good? What's up? 2021, it's gone. That went quick. I'm going to be showing you guys the top 10 sneakers that I was able to cop this year was a pretty rough year, but it was also a pretty good year amongst many different things. If you know, you know. There was a lot of sneakers that came out that I was not able to get my hands on, quite a few in fact, and I'm not happy about it. But nonetheless, and those sneakers are still obtainable, with time we will get there, it's all good. Let's get into this top 10, let's not waste no time. But before we do that, you guys know we got to take care of business. If you're a SK Nation member and you are returning once again, I appreciate your viewership. Thank you. If this is your first time here, when you join SK Nation, you get the latest information on the hottest releases every month. You get mall vlogs, sneaker con vlogs, unboxings, and reviews. Now, if that's something you're interested in, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe down low. <laughs> now, let's go. Without wasting any more time, let's go right into it. Our top 10 sneaker of 2021 is a sneaker that I got way back in February, the New Balance 574 My Story Matters. A sneaker that not a lot of people sought out to have, but for me, I needed to have them. I'm really into New Balance. There's a lot of details that go into this sneaker that are memorable of Black History Month. I needed to make sure I have them in my collection. The color tones go well together. I just love the sneaker. I'm not so crazy about the lace at the back here, but it's significant to the month, so I'm all for it. Number 10, the New Balance 574, My Story Matters. Number nine was a shoe that I picked up later this year, a sneaker once again that not a lot of people sought out to have, but for me, it was a sneaker that I really liked, and I think that's what it's all about. There's a lot of people out there buying sneakers because of hype or whatever the case may be. For me, I like to buy sneakers that I like, and I think that's how it should be. That's a true sneakerhead. My number nine sneaker for 2021 is the Jordan 12 Utility. As soon as I saw this shoe, I was instantly in love. I really love the gum sole. I know I did not put out a review for this sneaker for you guys, but I had gotten it on release day and just too many things were going on in life at the time. I wasn't able to get a review out, my bad, but it's here now. That crimson splash over the jump man, the silver chrome eyelets on the top, that hint of crimson under the Jordan symbol and the two at the bottom. My number nine pickup for 2021, the Jordan 12 Utility. Now number eight, it was by far the hardest sneaker for me to cop this year. Simply because there were so many people that said that they did not want the sneaker and did not like the sneaker, but on release date, it was selling out like crazy. I got really lucky. My persistence allowed me to get the sneaker. Once I was on Foot Locker, I kept clicking my size and add to cart and it kept telling me it was out of stock, but I kept trying, kept trying and magically enough, it added to cart and I was able to cop. My number eight sneaker for 2020, the Jordan 3 Midnight Navy. I was instantly in love with this sneaker once I saw it. And of course, everyone knows that threes is where it's at for me. It's my favorite Jordan silhouette of all time. I just had to have this sneaker. You can pretty much rock it with almost anything. It's a versatile sneaker and I love them. And these ones I did a review for. So you guys know what that means. If you haven't watched it yet, Make sure you click the like button. My number eight sneaker for 2021, the Jordan 3 Midnight Navy. My number seven was a unique cop for me. I was able to get it for a true steal and I'm happy to have it in the collection. The Nike Women's Coast Dunk, a sneaker that I've wanted for quite a while. Of course, I had to join in on the dunk phenomenon for this year. Dunk's been going crazy. I know there was two releases of the same colorway, but this one is with the yellow tips on the laces and the yellow on the tongue tag. 
with the yellow on the back. Really dope shoe, very versatile as well. You can wear it with almost anything. My number seven pickup for 2021, the Nike Dunk Coast. Almost at the top five. I know you guys are like, I wonder what he has left. Hmm. Now my number seven sneaker for me was a sleeper. A sneaker that I really love. I was so excited to have. I knew I was gonna get a pair. Foot Locker Canada once again came through. Even though sometimes you guys don't. The Jordan 3 Cool Gray. Whew. Again, if you haven't seen the review for this one, I love everything about this sneaker. The orange eyelids, the red touch of the Jordan symbol on the tongue, the red touch of the Jordan symbol on the back can't really go wrong with this shoe you can wear it again with anything just a beautiful sneaker i was so happy that i was able to secure this pair it was much needed for me and it's a part of the collection my number seven my number six sneaker of 2021 the jordan cool gray threes moving on to the top five sneakers of 2021 top five top five top five top five say that 10 times fast my number five sneaker for 2021 is the Jordan 6 Bordeaux. This sneaker I got super, super late in the year. I got it, I believe, on the last week of December. Another sneaker that was a must have for me. I do not have the seven. So for me, having this sneaker was an absolute must. The color combination of this sneaker is just unmatched, even down to the yellowish lace tab just a beautiful shoe i'm sure you all would agree i'm so happy i have this sneaker in my collection a well-respected sneaker in the community my number five sneaker for 2021 the jordan 6 bordeaux number five was arguably one of the best collabs of the year another shoe that a lot of people myself included were actually hating on when it first came out well at least the first version and then when they released the second version i was pretty happy because the colorway was dope the union la jordan 4 guava ice in my opinion there was no better version than this one all the colors just work together well the baby blue that they put on the inside the heel tab on the back, the material on the toe box area is very thick. Everything about it is just crazy. The first pair was just, it was bad. I did not like that pair at all, but then they came out with this one right after and they did it. I'm sure you guys know that the tongue on the sneaker itself, you can actually cut out the threads that were put on the inside and the tongue comes out and it's bigger. Quite a nice touch to the sneaker. But for me, I like it just as it is. I think it might ruin how much I like the sneaker if I take out the sewing. So I'm gonna leave it as is. My number four sneaker for 2021, the Jordan 4 Guava Ice Union LA. Now number three is a sneaker that's probably my most favorite out of my entire collection. A sneaker that I hold very dear to my heart because it involves two NBA players that I've watched entirely from the beginning to the end of their careers and unfortunately one of their careers ended tragically my number three sneaker for 2021 is the Allen Iverson question Kobe PE this sneaker is so important to me because obviously I am a big Lakers fan and Kobe Bryant is one of the biggest Lakers ever again my review for this sneaker is right here the intro sick trust me you'll love it there's a few details included in this sneaker that draw our attention directly to kobe bryant it's a shoe that's so memorable i could not have a collection and not have this sneaker my number three sneaker for 2021 the Allen iverson question kobe pe my number two sneaker was my most clutch pickup of the year I found myself at Yorkdale, went into the brand new flagship store they have there, enjoyed the sick lights by the stairs, walked upstairs, went over to the shelf, and sure enough, there was my number two sneaker of the year in my size, the Jordan 5 Raging Bull. <laughs> I still can't believe I have them. This sneaker was one of the most sought out sneakers for 2021, and I couldn't believe that when I walked into the store and looked on the shelf, weeks after the release date might i add that they were there now granted because they had them on the shelf i thought to myself fam there's no way they have my size just try a ting and ask them 
I asked one of the workers, you got a nine and a half? Typed on his little handheld computer. He said yes. I couldn't believe my ears. He asked me if I wanted a pair. I said to him, of course. He brought them out. I tried them on. I immediately ran to the cash register to pay for them. Just in case someone might have said, excuse me, sir, uh, those ones were actually reserved for someone else. You got to bring them back. And that's how I got my number two sneaker of 2021, the Jordan 5 Raging Bulls. All right, we have now made it to my number one sneaker of 2021, a sneaker that I wanted for the longest time and I was able to not get it on release date. Another opportunity came up and I was able to cop the off-white Jordan 5 sale. This sneaker was re-released on sneakers app on Michael Jordan's birthday. It was a shock drop. And the funny thing about it is that from talking to some of the homies, some people got certain sneakers, others got other sneakers. Of the sneakers that I was able to cop, I saw these ones and I had to pull the trigger, especially since it was for retail. I mentioned earlier that it's a memorable sneaker in the sneaker world, of course, because of the passing of Virgil Abloh this year. It was very tragic hearing of his passing because I don't know Virgil personally. It wasn't really something that hit so close to home. I'm just happy to have a piece of his art in my collection, a very iconic sneaker for a lot of people. Virgil changed the way we see sneakers, the way we see designing, and because of him, there are many more doors that are opened in the fashion world. Rest in peace, Virgil. My number one pickup for 2021, the Jordan 5 Off-White Sale. YouTube, SK Nation, Steph Kicks family. Once again, I thank you guys so much for tuning in today and checking out my top 10 pickups for 2021. It's been a crazy year. A lot of changes came about, a lot of ups and downs, a lot of goals were reached, and there's still a lot to meet. But as I was told as a young boy, the top of one hill is just the bottom of the other. Goals are meant to be met so you can make new ones. So keep climbing. I look forward to a big 2022 as we continue to grow the channel. I really appreciate all the support that you guys have given throughout the years and the growth never stops. I appreciate all your support. Please make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends, your family, let's get as many people a part of SK Nation as we can for 2022. I love you guys so much. Thank you once again for watching. And as we always say, shoe love is true love. And I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Yeah.